Well, good evening, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. So I wanted to get a quick one out before the Thanksgiving holiday. Uh, I wanted to discuss three yield max funds that are going to be coming soon. That's really all we know. I don't think we have a date yet. We just know that they're coming soon. Uh, we've got AIYY, which is going to be the AI one, which was referenced in the J interview. Uh, we've got YMAX and YMAG. So uh, one of these is going to be the seven top stocks that we went over in that interview. I'm going to try to pull up that PDF again when we get to it. But I want to start off with the comment we got here from Mr. Armando Hernandez. He said, if you know, please talk about the fees for the new funds, YMAX and YMAG. These funds will buy other yield max funds that already charge 0.99. Very interesting how that's going to work out. So that could potentially result in, since this is going to be like a fund of funds, we could have a fee of fees. So that's not necessarily encouraging. But anyway, uh, I'm not just going to go over these three. I'm going to go over some of our newest ones like Coney and AMDY. Also, I've pointed out in the comments uh, and in the community post the last couple of days that TSLY is actually uh, tracking very closely with Tesla this week. In fact, it's been slightly outperforming it, which those of you that have been following me for a while know that back like probably six, five or six months ago, they were tracking almost evenly and then something stopped. So I don't know if something's changed or what. But it's interesting that within the last week, it seems like we've seen a little bit of an improvement in the performance. If we can just get the fund back up, that would be awesome. Like what we're seeing with Coney and AMDY, we're seeing the principal value up and very high dividends, like a dollar or more in many cases. So let me just share real quick, because what we've had, we have a Twitter posting from the YieldMax Twitter account. Um, and like I said, so I was about to do that audio book like right now, but I need at least a two hour window to do it. Only have about a one hour window. So um, yeah, so you've all got me for this live stream, which some of you may like that better. But anyway, okay, so let's share the Yield Max uh, Twitter site. And so let's see what all we can find out about this fund before it actually debuts. So Yield Max AI Option Income Strategy ETF is launching soon. They posted this Monday morning. It's going to be ticker symbol AIYY. We'll seek to generate monthly income from a covered call strategy similar to what the other ones do. Get the latest news about Yield Max ETFs in your inbox by completing Contact Us form, Yield Max ETFs. Um, and then here's Coney and AMDY. Let me just click Coney here and see what comes up. Two months. Oh, these are other people posting on here. Look at that. 27.69% in three months. That's pretty good. So I guess there's a Coney page on here. That's kind of cool. I have a Twitter page for the channel, but I've actually got to get it going again. Uh, let's see. What's this dollar sign AI? This is, oh, it's people's initials <laughs> is what Twitter is reading. So anyway, let's go real quick to the Yield Max site and just review some of the positions here. Now, the, y, the YMAX is going to be the fund of funds that's coming out. We, I believe we don't have a date for that yet, but they're targeting towards the end of the year, I think. So who knows? It might be a nice Christmas gift for us. Now, as far as, is my screen on the YieldMax site or am I still on Twitter? Let me do this here because I'm looking at my phone and it was still showing Twitter. So let's see here. Uh, Corey Holton says, do you know what the new AY, AI fund Yieldmax is talking about on Twitter? Thanks. Great work. Yeah, it's ticker symbol AIYY. It's in the title. I'll even put it here in the comments section. Uh, okay. Let me share the screen again. So here's um, yeah, AIYY is what it's going to be called. So there's at least three of them we know about. And Jay also said there's other exciting stuff in the works, like what Blake asked on the podcast channel about a hedged uh, ETF. That would, of course, be great. So, um, okay, there's that ticker. Uh, I don't think this is a ticker, but uh, I know Huffman's got a lot of jokes. He says AI.C3. Maybe that's something else. Um, okay. Well, I've improved at least last live stream. I thought he was saying, I like kind of like almost like what a pirate says. <laughs> All right. So let me share the screen here. Um, okay. So let's go to the yield max site 
And uh, I wish we had dates on these, but we don't have them yet. Let me see here. Oh, I guess I'm sharing Twitter again. Let me let's try this again. Oh, the underlying. Okay. Well, I tried to pull up AI on Twitter, but I guess Elon Musk isn't letting us do that. So we can at least look at that too. Uh, let me try the screen share again here. Okay. Yield max ETFs is what I'm going to go to this time. Um, oh, that Apple one is low. There's NVDY. I like how you can hover over these and kind of see the dividend. OARK is still 36%. Tesla is still 60%. Moderna is not out yet either. That's another new one. SQY. There's AMDY, 66% still. Phenomenal. JP Morgan, 33%. Exxon. We got a lot of them. We got Microsoft, uh, Netflix, Disney's 40%. That one really surprises me because Disney stock has been in the tank. Coinbase, 54.26%. Uh, GUI, 24. FBY, 27. AMZY, 31. There's, okay, now we're back to square one here. Um, let me see here. Education Home. Where did he tell me to go last time to find that PDF? I think it was, this is only existing ETFs, but there was already a prospectus for, at least for the YMAG one. Let's see, maybe it was under, um, let's see what we have here for education. Is that tab relatively new? <laughs> Yieldmax is registered with the SEC. Well, at least we know that. <laughs> We're reassured now. Well, I mean, we knew that already. Okay, let's see. Never looked at this, actually. High income potential, convenience, and ease. Customized risk, return, and income solution. And these principles apply to the new funds, too. Oh, you know, this might be new. Look at this. Portfolio component, short put plus long call equals long stock position. Short call equals income. Covered call. Treasuries, collateral, and additional income. There's a couple of questions that came up right there that are answered. Again, results, cover call strategy, monthly income potential, short out-of-the-money call allows some upside participation. All options are backed by the OCC. No leverage, no stock gets called away. Nice. So there's some good stuff. I'm trying to remember, does anyone in the audience know where that PDF was? Um, oh, look here. I love this. So one of my followers that I haven't seen in a while... Not only did he show up, but he's going to give me the link for the prospectus. That's perfect. That's great. Well, while he's doing that, let me type in the underlying here. Maybe I'll pull up a fan favorite site known as Yahoo Finance. By the way, uh, there's going to be some affiliate links coming very soon, so stay tuned for that. And if I'm up to it, I will do the audiobook tonight. I know I've been saying that for quite a while. It's only been four months, after all. So... Um, you know what? Here's as a teaser, just for you all that tuned in, I'll actually read a page of the audio book. I mean, of the real book for the audio version. So I'll do that now. Oops, I have it upside down. Oh, why did I do that? Um, okay, I'll give you a sneak preview. Uh, the word the is in here a lot. We've got some charts and some cool stuff. Just kidding. You got to tune into the audio book. <laughs> At least you know the word the is on the page that I'll be reading starting out. It's page 52 that I, I had to go back and remember where I stopped the last time. So it's page 52. So this is actually, um, this is like a 200 and something page book. So I'm going to break it into like four parts. And it took me an hour and a half to do the first part. So anyway, all right. With that being said, let me pull up Yahoo Finance real quick. And uh, let me look up. So this is going to be a really cool one. Now, we had a pretty good day in the markets today. If my work schedule, if I wasn't so busy today with work, I would have actually done a market live stream today because I thought things were going to lighten up a bit this week. But we haven't seen that yet. So let's check something here. Um, hey, Andre, uh, where's the link, by the way? I thought you were sending. Maybe you're still trying to find it. Oh, um, for this person, let's see. So it doesn't let me on the phone. It doesn't let me pull up your comments. So I'll wait until I can read them again to pull them up. But the other two are ones that uh, are coming soon also. 
Um, I'll just wait till I get back to your comment. So stay tuned. All right, let me let me do this before I share. Um, oh, there it is. Yeah, I, I knew that. I'm just teasing you, Hoffman. <laughs> Let's see. Was anyone in Smile Direct by chance? I saw they uh, performed beautifully, especially lately. Okay. Oh, here. All right, I'm back here. Let me just pull your comment up. That way I can read it. So, let's see. Uh, so, YMAX and YMAG, those are going to be like the fund of fund. So, the YMAX is going to be the master fund that's going to have a piece or a component of all the individual ones. So, we're really looking forward to that. The YMAG is going to be like seven like top stocks. Like, I think I, think I want to say like Meta, Microsoft, maybe NVIDIA. It's like seven. It, it was almost the FANG stocks, but not quite. But we brought that up in the interview. If somebody can get me that link while I live stream, that would be awesome. That can maybe keep me going a little longer. If not, I'll probably be ending it in the next five minutes. Uh, but let me just share this real quick here on Yahoo Finance. I have to say, um, well, the J balance was really good as far as like uh, what it did for the channel. But if I'm not posting every day, <laughs> things die out quick. So, um, all right, so here is AI, it's up to 2880. I'm thinking I'm gonna regret not buying this sooner. Yeah, because see, since 2012, well, it crashed actually from 153. That was in that crazy market back in early 2021. We went down to 1220, so we've actually almost tripled within this year. That's awesome. So if you had bought in the beginning of the year, you're looking really pretty. I'm sure Hoffman bought, because he usually makes all the right moves. Um, let's see. So 52 week range has been from 1016 all the way to 4887. That was in June. So it's actually fallen almost 50% from its highs. So this is going to be what this AI yield max fund, what it tracks. So this could actually be really encouraging because as you can see, it's a very volatile fund. So anyway, all right. I wanted to let you all know that those funds are coming. Um, Thank you all for tuning in. Just wanted to do a quick one. I got somewhere to be shortly. So like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you all for tuning in and have a great rest of your evening. Take care.